is an interesting one because if he hadn't have been the best of all time, then it w- he would have been a joke. He would have been mm-hmm. run amok. You know, he genuinely believed in his ability to, to become the best and, you know, he proved that. Um, he went out and he did that. So, you know, you can only um, give credit where it's due, I guess. But I think for the... Uh, Joe, you alluded to it, and I've said it before, the vast majority of people will say that and not achieve it. And there would have been people at the time when he first said it that was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And, and I know that he came up in boxing around um, a really strong racism time in America, and he had to kind of be uh, outlandish outlandish to be seen, I think, and heard. Um, so that it might have been that that was part of the motivation to say something like that you know people if if somebody was to come into our workplace now or your workplace now or wherever and say you know they could they could be a, an internal mover or they could be a long time mem- serving member and they could say you know i'm the best at x i'm the best best at y you just roll your eyes and go oh it's somebody else that's cocksure and arrogant doesn't really know the world but it's about how you kind of back it up as well and if you get if you if you lead that perception of yourself to be the best and you do deliver for the most part and you push that kind of thing through then people will kind of let it go and be like yeah he's all right he does a good job i guess um but if you're not um you only make a fool of yourself um and i spent a long time over the years being told i had uh, an overinflated ego and was perhaps slightly arrogant so you know i've learned this life rule or life lesson i guess 